All right, in this video, we're going to talk about some more effective strategies for finding clients and potential freelance jobs. So the first one is to create yourself a miniature website. And so if you're a graphics, you know, website designer, this will be very easy. And if you're just like a writer, if that's your focus or link building type work and you know you're not a graphics person, don't worry about it cuz you can simply create it just on blogger.com, you know, for free. You could just use, you know, WordPress if you want to use your own domain. Um, you could use blogger.com, weebly.com, uh, wetpaint.com. Another one is squidoo.com. It, it creates just a page for you. It's on a website. Uh, Weebly and WetPaint, they'll create entire websites. Blogger is a blog. Uh, basically, on these sites, all you want to do is, is you know, you could put a picture of yourself there. You could put a description of your services, of what you specialize in. You could put a little short blurb about uh, kind of who you are as a person, uh, why you do what you do, um, that kind of thing, because sometimes that personal touch will make a difference um, as far as closing deals. Uh, you could put things like maybe the pricing that you do, maybe testimonials from past clients, uh, possibly article samples if you were doing articles, or it could be um, it could be actual design graphic designs, or links to websites you've designed, or or links to download software applications you've created. Whatever the case might be, you can put that on this website to basically help tell people what you are. And then you're going to want to optimize those pages for keywords related to what you're selling. Uh, you know, so like freelance graphic designer, freelance software developer, freelance website designer, that kind of thing, and use that to you know to attract uh, potential clients. People can find it naturally. You could send it to people through email, you know, uh, depending on how you're getting in touch with them, and so it gives you several different avenues uh, for people just to come across you and see a little bit more about you. So that's another important strategy for finding uh, new new projects because that's so important. Video marketing, that's another thing you could utilize. You could simply um, you know tap into the power of YouTube. It's actually gets more traffic and more searches it gets more searches than actually Yahoo and MSN search engines all together um, I mean in their entirety and so um, the Google searching search engine gets the most but the YouTube search engine within youtube.com itself gets an enormous amount of searches every single uh, day now and so it's so important to tap into video and you can do that by simply you know if you have a laptop that has that comes equipped with a webcam which most do now um, you could just sit here and just and talk straight into your computer uh, recording with the webcam talking about who you are um, again why you do what you do what you do what sets you apart from somebody else and maybe give them a link to the website you set up to check you out or give them your phone number or give them your email at the close of that video whatever the case might be uh, beyond on that you can also just use um, you know use yourself talking about uh, you know just basically discuss what's going on so um, you know sit there and talk about um, you know talk about your 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 niche whatever the case might be use it to just keep promoting yourself and title it with you know whatever niche you're in whatever um, freelance type work you're doing so if it's freelance link building talk about that I'm you know freelance link builder or outsource link building here that kind of thing and what will happen is these videos themselves can get picked up in the search engines and another video hosting site is rever.com and you can also go to Google to find more video hosting sites a social media networking this should not be a surprise to you uh, but it's another powerful avenue for finding clients uh, Twitter is huge you can go to Twitter and you can uh, you know follow business owners follow internet business owners and then um, you know look for people out there that are, are website business owners follow them and send them a direct message if they follow you back you know saying this is the kind of service that I have to offer um, that kind of thing how can I help you send them a message like that um, you could also do a search um, in the search.twitter.com you could do a search for you know looking for writer looking for articles whatever the case might be um, you could run a brief little search for that you could also go to facebook.com, set up your account, tell people a little bit about who you are, set up a MySpace page as well, and use these portals as, to link into your little websites that you made to identify you know, who you are and what you do. And using all the methods on this page will really increase the amount of freelance jobs you can potentially obtain. Uh, but there's a few more things that you can also do. Um, online classifieds. Craigslist.com is huge. It's one of the more high traffic websites on the internet. So you could tap into Craigslist.com in two ways.
ways. The first way is you can search the job listing to actually look for people um, that are looking for your services, be it web design um, services, article writing services, whatever the case might be. Just browse through the job section and you can look for jobs and projects that people have posted. And another way you can use Craigslist is to post a classified in like the small biz ad section. You'll post a classified talking about your services and what you do. Uh, this, do the exact same thing on Backpage.com. Browse the job boards. Post a job in the service offering page. For Oodle.com, look for job offers if they have it. Um, make a post about your services um, if that works. And you know, again, title these posts whatever service you're offering. Online classifieds can be really big. Uh, referrals, that's a great way to get clients. Talk to friends, network with people. I know this seems like basic, uh, but you can basically talk to somebody. Um, you know, if you do good work for somebody for a client, ask them if they you know know somebody else that might need the services, and chances are they do. Or um, do good work, and by natural, what's going to happen is they're going to refer you on to somebody else, and that's huge. Uh, newspaper classifieds, that's another great way to find potential clients is browse through classifieds in the job section and look for people looking for various jobs. You could also post your own classified saying, talking about how you do article writing services and this can get kind of expensive but it's still another way you can use to find clients. And then one other thing you can do is, you know, look at your local small businesses in your area, in your area, wherever you are. Um, even if you're overseas, there's all sorts of businesses out there, United States, overseas, wherever the case might be. Look for local businesses in your area and tell them this is what I have to offer you. And, you know, see what kind of things they need and want. A lot of local businesses need web design services or they need article writing services. And sometimes they don't know they need it until you've talked to them. So that's a great way that you can start tapping into finding more clients. And if you apply these strategies, it'll be amazing um, the potential f for income that you can earn as a freelancer. It's all about getting as many bids and as many projects out there as possible. So in the final video in this series that we're going to cover next, we're going to go over some strategies for um, you know being an effective freelancer and um, you know just how to you know how to how to get clients that stick, how to keep your clients happy, and you know just kind of give you a few more closing guidelines. But utilizing you know these sources for finding uh, jobs, you should have no problem finding enough work to keep you busy and to grow your freelance business.